Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Cyber Snow Wolf, and welcome back to LEGO Arts. And today, we are doing a showcase video of LEGO Arrow minifigures. I've been working on these figures for quite some time. In time, I wanted to get, wanted to get most of these done. I originally was just going to do the front row you know, sets of minifigures, but after Season 5 came out, I chose to work on, on the rest of the minifigures to sort of bring out, like, the ultimate Team Arrow. <clears throat> so, for each of these figures... Iggers, of course, we got Green Arrow, Black Canary, we actually have three Canaries, so we have Laurel Lance Canary, Sarah Lance Canary, and Dinah Drake Canary. We also have Speedy, uh, Arsenal, well, Spartan, Arnton, Felicity, or Overwatch, as, he's, as she is now called, uh, Mr. Terrific, Wild Dog, and Ragman. Ragman. Now, originally, I was just gonna do, like, like, five of these figures. These figures at first, but then after a little while, I thought, like, you know what? Let's do the full team. Team. Even though two, you know, about two, well, well, I guess three of these figures aren't really part of Team Arrow anymore. I still wanted to do them, and then because I like these characters. So, I originally wasn't going to do the showcase video this early. I was originally going to wait until after I finished, just like, the bunker. I'm planning on making the bunker. But of course, or after looking at... You know, the last few episodes, I realized that I think it's best if I just showcase the figures first, then do the build, then do the background build. So, you probably won't see that for quite some time. So, oh, as the first video, like the last few videos, we're going to take these figures one at a time and and showcase. Okay, so, let's get on a rolling. So, to start things off, of course, we have Oliver Queen in his Green Arrow Season 5 slash 6 outfit, and I guess also Season 4. Because originally on how this figure started out is, at the time, I made, uh, I went on a draw cast and I did, and I made my own decals of, of his Green Arrow outfit. And of course, or the sleeves weren't included at the time, but then after seeing the trailer for Season 5, and 5, I originally was going to like, reprint, print the decals, but after seeing of how the, uh, the suit's pretty much the same, except that the sleeves, I thought, uh, you know what, let's just paint the arms. So, looking at this figure a little bit different. A little bit closer. This was one. This was another one of those figures that I made, made that has gone through multiple different phases. Phases like this thing has. In, originally started out as the original hood slash arrow suit, then I evolved it into like a comic book arrow suit, and now it's in its final form, as you would call it. You would call it. So looking at this figure a little bit differently. Let's take off his hood. Uh, the head, of course, is the actual green arrow arrow minifigure from. Um, I can't remember which set it was, but it was like a Justice League set I got a couple of Christmases ago. There's a go, and I chose to stick with the head. The head? Uh, looking at the hood, at the hood piece though. This was actually influenced by an artist that goes by the name of Michael MGF. Now, if what you haven't heard of that guy, I recommend you go check him out. His Lego sets are amazing. Amazing. So, at least three of these characters. He was like one of those, those inspirations that gave me to customize Lego. So... This was the hood piece. I sculpted it out of molding clay and then and painted it green and gave also also gave the details. Uh, look at a little bit more with the figure. Of course, here's his bow. I tried to get the bow to look more like more like on the show. In the show, needless to say, to say this somewhat turned out good. I think it turned out you know pretty nice. It's a very unique bow, and a thing that I like to do with my archery bows is to actually. Give it string. It can actually pull back, but it does sort of add to that little technique of he's able to pull, he's able to launch some arrows. And speaking of an arrow, he has one here. This one here. It's uh, these pieces have also been good for like miniature rocket models, the models, and his arms can move. This can move. And one thing that I like about this figure is that his legs can move, so he can actually do like running and jumping. His quiver. Ever, as you can see, it's like an average quiver piece, except I've painted the arrows, arrows black, and the feathers green. And then on the back, there's a little bit more detailing, detailing to the quiver itself. Oh, and it's made of the same material as the hood, hood itself. Oh, so I think this turned out pretty nice. Turned out pretty nice. I don't, I'm not sure if it's fully accurate to, and to the hood, the hood itself. Uh, to the quiver itself on the show, the show, but I think it comes very close, uh, very close to it. Uh, in fact, hold on, hold on. Um, let me get, let me get a minifigure I actually got 
at a Lego convention mentioned a little while back. A while back, so you can do, so we can do like a comparison. So this minifigure was made by, I can't remember what it was made by, but when I saw all this figure, I thought like, that's amazing. This is very well made. Very well made. It really is. It's very well made. I mean, if we can remove his hood, remove his hood, we see a little bit more detailing. Detailing on the front. I can't remember exactly what uh, what is on this minifigure, but it's not exactly decals. Um, oh my god. Uh, but yeah, in general, it's very well made. It's very well made. Props, props to the artist that did this. And this, this was very well made. And of course, on the back, like, he actually put some printing on his. Uh, at the time, the time when making this minifigure, figure, I saw that the quiver covered most of the back, so I didn't really saw a need to to actually put a decal on. I just kept it as the way it is. So yeah, that's Green Arrow, and we're gonna move on to our next minifigure. Next up, of course, is Laurel Lance as her Black Canary, a canary. Now I know that Laurel, uh, the actress on the show, is no longer Black Canary. She is now Black Siren. Iron. I made this minifigure back in season four, and I wanted to keep this minifigure because. To me, Laurel Lance should be the Black Canary. She should be the Canary. And Canary. And I got mad that the fact that the show decided to kill her off. Hold her off. Uh, they're complete jerks. So, oh, bad on them. So anyways, with this suit itself, this was another decal that, uh, that I had to hand draw. But this was also influenced by Michael MGF. Yeah, I had to look at a few. I took some screenshots of how he made his minifigure. Minifigure. And with those on Drawcast, I was able to... I'm going to draw out the arms and the decaling on the arms and the legs. Unfortunately, though, there's not. I can't really fully bend the legs, unfortunately. I really want to, though. Let's see, though. Because no, I think that would be pretty cool. And cool to also give her, put her in some cool poses. Poses. And you can't tell because of the hair on the back. But there is a decal printing on the back. And then. And here are her nightsticks, or her tomfa. Her tomfa. I think that's pretty cool on how she wields tomfa. tomfa. So, with these tomfa, I got these... Well, originally on how they first started out, was I took two rods, and I cut them, and then super glued them together. But then, and when I was off in... Uh, I can't even remember exactly where. I think it was Idaho. But I went to this, into this Lego store, and they had packs like, of, like, police... Of, like, some police gear... Here and one, and in two of those packs, next was nightsticks. So I got, so I got those to sort of uh, represent as her tomfa of, of her main weapon. And let's put that back on, back on. And of course the face, face decal. This was, uh, this was actually a black canary face decal, decal that I found online, online and through Drawcast. I drew her mask, her mask on. Uh, this is actually a double faced. Like my original idea was that. That if I could remove the hair piece, hair piece, it'd be like one side is her normal face, but then on the other side, it's her doing her canary cry. However, ever, like with the last few, <clears throat> I can't get that off. I unfortunately cannot get that off. Uh, so, and also with this piece in front, this represents, and so I know this looks a little bit messy, but this is supposed to represent like her canary cry. Canary cry. I think what would have been pretty cool is if rather than having an evil little version of Laurel on the show. She's at she was actually a meta human human that she actually has a real canary cry. And this was sort of like an amplifier to sort of help her control it and focus it more. I think that would have been awesome. But of course, of course you know beggars can't be choosers. Choosers if it was that way, if it was that way, I think I would choose to have seasons to have seasons three, four, five, and currently six uh, redone and done properly, as I would put it. So yeah, that's Laurel, and now we're gonna be moving on to our next minifigure. So next up is the third figure influenced by Michael and MGF, of John Diggle, or Dig, aka Spartan. Tin. Now this minifigure was pretty interesting, interesting to make. Yeah, because this originally first started out as just the cows, uh, the detailing on the arms was sort of, sort of extra added, as well as this painting on the back. This wasn't actually, this wasn't actually made on Drawcast, I hand painted that a little bit afterwards, but the idea is that is that the printing thing sort of represents it's a little bit of the slight detailing on the actual jacket on the suit, and I know that on the front it's not exactly even, but I'm not exactly the best at hand hand painting some of the stuff, which is why I use Drawcast because I can easily erase that. 
So I think this minifigure... Yes! Okay, this is another one of those minifigures that I was lucky to get these legs, because I can move the legs. Next, which is really cool. His helmet is from Season 5. Now, when first making this minifigure, minifigure he originally had the hel helmet. Well, it wasn't really a helmet. It was a mask in Season 4. In 4, however, I didn't like that. I thought it would be a helmet. I thought the... Yeah, so I thought the helmet would be cool. And then when I saw... Well, <coughs> yeah, sorry. When I saw of how the helmet... Of how this upgraded into a helmet. Helmets, I thought this was much cooler. And I think this is supposed to be black. But I painted it silver at the time. Because the way on how the lighting looked is that it's silver. And so... Oh, I wanted to do that. And then, of course, there's John's face underneath. Mm -hmm, yeah. Putting that back on. And another thing... Another unique piece is his gun. This is gun. Now I'm not I'm not entirely sure of where this gun um, came from. Came from, but one of my friends and had a whole bunch of Legos that they were getting rid of and they gave it to me. And while exploring there, I found this gun. I think this is supposed to be Mega Blocks, maybe? Because the way on how it's designed. However, I thought a bigger purpose for it. Purpose for it. So, I wanted to give it to Spartan as, like, his little gun. And I'll put that back on. So, yeah, that's Spartan. And I'm pretty sure that his pants and are more grayish, less blue. But and so with the video that I saw, I think it might have been lighting stuff. Because I thought this was actually of how it was supposed to turn out. But I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Might have had this turn out pretty well. In a while, and I'm actually pretty satisfied. So now we're going to be moving on to another minifigure. Next up on our list is Roy Harper, a.k.a. Arsenal. Oh, this was one of my favorites in Season 3. Season 3, like, I, when it first started out and we saw his suit, I was like, yes! We finally get, we get Arsenal! And I thought he was going to be going by Red Arrow, but I think Arsenal was a cooler name. And this outfit is very nice. This was actually part of the cows of, of the Lego Batman and then three game on how there's a DLC where you can play as Arrow, and I think it's an awesome one. So of course there's the Kelling on the front, on the front and the back, and back. Uh, there's actually a Kell underneath the quiver. However, however, like with some of the other minifigures, I can't fully bend the legs. I wish I could, uh, but I cannot. That's, and of course his bow here. There, I think this started out as like a brown bow, bow, and uh, but then I painted it up red. Red sort of match, match the suit, and of course he has his arrow, you know, and his quiver on the back. There's nothing really entirely special about this quiver. Ever, this was just painted red, and the arrows were given their detailing, nothing to fully incorporate with that. So, and also of his hood piece, the head, uh, like the last few minifigures I have, the head is fused to the hood, so I can't take it off, but you can see underneath, it's like a brown hood. I can't exactly remember where I got this hood, uh, but I just know that I had this spare hood lying around, and I wanted to make Roy. Anyway, I kind of wish that I could edit the decal more, like, make him less smiley. Really, I think he would have more of an aggressive face. And I do know, out there in the world, there's actually a limited edition, I think it's limited edition, because it was, like, at Comic-Con, a Arsenal minifigure. Minifigure, and so he was getting, like, different expressions... Uh, the suit itself was a little bit different, like, the pants were black instead of red. Red, so I thought that was pretty cool. Well, but this one, it hasn't really gone through a whole bunch of changes. This minifigure mainly went through color scheme changes. Like, I had to paint the hood and the bow a lot of times. And since I can't remove the head from the hood, I had to be very careful. Careful. It's not much of a pain as, as like, having the face, but you need to... Uh, but I have to paint around the face, but this was still, oh, very tricky to do. No, but I'm pretty satisfied. And, excuse me, I'm hoping that Roy comes back, comes back, like, not just as, as a guest star, but actually comes back and stays on the show. The show. I think that would have made the other seasons a lot better because of his relationship with Thea. Thea, I wish that he comes back, so I'm hoping that he does. I'm hoping that he does. It does. But again, that's just my opinion. Opinion. Some others may have a different one, but I did hear that Colton's coming back in episode 15 in season 6. However, I don't watch Arrow anymore for obvious reasons if you haven't, if you have seen the Crisis on Earth X crossover. No, bro. But I was excited to hear that he's coming back. 
So that's an upside. All right, now we're going to be moving on to another minifigure. So next up is Thea Queen, a.k.a. Speedy. So I was excited that in the end of Season 3 that Thea donned on Roy's suit and became a vigilante. I think that was pretty cool. I was sad, though, at the end of Season 4 on how Thea retired and she occasionally reappeared here back in the hood, hood in Season 5. But in general, I'm hoping that Thea eventually comes back because I want to see more of Speedy in action. So the decals, it's very similar to Arsenal's suit. However... Where there's a few changes, like the cross pattern isn't on here, and there's a less belt here, and of course the pants are black, because that's how it uh, started out. And of course the bow, oh, uh, I, I can't exactly remember where I got this bow. I think this was the bow that was used for the hood piece I used for Ragman. Ragman, but I'll get to him later. In later. So, with the arrow, if you notice that it's different, because at the time of making this minifigure, I was low on arrows. Arrow, so I made an arrow, but recent, but after recent events, I'm now super stocked on arrows, so I think I might give the arrow an upgrade. And of course the quiver, uh, it's black here, there's a bottom to calendar here. And of course, it has the same paint, paint job as Roy's suit. And maybe the legs can actually bend, maybe, maybe, oh, oh, could we, oh, shoot, shoot, the cow's trying to come off. No, no, you stay, stay. Yeah, I'll probably have to literally to re -glue that. Now, the hood piece is very unique. Um, I don't remember exactly where the inspiration came from, but I remember once exploring on the internet and on how I saw someone made their speedy minifigure on how the hood piece was used as a wild-style hood, and I think this was actually very well beneficial. Maybe I can... Ooh, I can take it off. Yes! Which means I can show you the head. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Yes! Yes, here we go. Okay, I'll set that aside for now. Uh, look at a little bit more at the hood. The hood. This is like the hood, uh, a hoodie that they like to use now again these days. Of course, this underneath is supposed to be Wild Style's hair, but I painted that brown to represent Speedy's hair. But after seeing of this hood, I thought this looked better for Speedy. And it's very unique. Very unique. Now on the other side, of course we have Thea and her regular face. I get her face like kind of a smirk, but then on the other side we have like her angry face. Face. I think what would have been kind of cool is if, if if I had the idea at the time, is if I made it, even though she doesn't use it that much, Thea does have, like, a sword on her bow, on her quiver. Ever. I think, though, what would have been cool uh, was when I did a Prometheus minifigure. I actually did that, and I'll show that another day, because I want to see if I can make some changes to it. But anyways, she has a, huh, uh, a hood, a sword on her quiver, and I think that would have been cool as if I modified the quiver enough to where I can attach a sword to it and she can use it. But again, she didn't really use it that much. Not much. So that's kind of a downfall. Downfall. So anyways, for future ref yeah, for the future of the show, I'm hoping that Thea comes back back as speedy, because I think that would be very awesome. So anyways, now we're gonna be moving on to we're gonna be moving on to another minifigure. So next up is Sarah Lance, aka the Canary. Canary. So oh she first appeared back in season two and two and and she's one of my favorite characters. Characters. The decals used for this one are like with the Arsenal one. So one Lego Batman three he decals. But for the same reasons of what I made the Batman minifigure was that I took this through Drawcast and did some slight detailing into some of the detailing. Cause the way on how this would print out is that this would be mostly black and you wouldn't be able to see the detailing. So I only excuse me. I only redid. I only put this. That's some of the detailing in light gray, so you can actually see the detailing um, when this print ends out. And of course, this is her sleeves on her jackets. These were pretty easy to make. They're not a decal, they're just hand-painted. Painted. Uh, same thing with her face. Actually, this was her, this originally started out as a white canary minifigure. And there's actually another face underneath. However, I can't take the hairpiece off, so that means I need to do... I need to redo the face in the face for white canary. But I think that's fine, I guess. I guess, and of course she has her staff, her staff, I saw all that in Legends, that I think these attach, these can detach from each other and become batons, and so that would be kind of an interesting thing to attempt to make, like, and, and I haven't read, and I didn't realize it until just now, that I think I should have made, like, her sonic grenades, grenades, she doesn't use those really much anymore, but I think, 
Uh, but as a way for her canary cry, where she had like these grenades, and it's for the sonic blasts, and I think that would have been kind of cool. And also, I think that might be a future accessory I make, I make uh, for, think for Sarah. But until then, this is actually pretty good. So, yeah, not really a whole lot to go on. I want furthermore, furthermore, and I did try out earlier. I can somewhat bend the legs, but not entirely. So that's a downfall there. But anyways, we're not going to be moving on to the next minifigure. So next up is Felicity Smoke, aka Overwatch. Overwatch, once again, these these decals were made in from Lego Batman 3. So not really a whole lot to go on. As you go uh, on, uh, I've noticed that the pink doesn't entirely match up with the rest of the suit. Mainly because at the time, um, I tried to get it somewhat close. So I think I might have to repaint this minifigure. Figure. And this is kind of interesting. Interesting of how this came out. Ooh, I just realized I might also have to do some more painting on the hairpiece as well. Uh, underneath here, of course, I tried to continue the pattern on to the back of the legs. Thanks, but that wasn't quite as good. Uh, her skirt, though, skirt, though, I now see it as kind of simple enough for where I could... Could, once again, these legs cannot bend. And I think in the events that I do a Lego Arrow film, um, I think what I... What I might have to do is, like, redo the legs and paint on the legs so that way they can bend but maintain their pattern. Their pattern. So the only, like, real paint job, paint job on the legs are the shoes. So in general, yeah, uh, not really much has to go on with this minifigure. I do like it on how she has her little badge over here for her little identification. And, of course, of course the strap continues on to the back. And in the Lego Batman 3 game, if she does have this little lock, have this little controller that allows her to become invisible. So I think that's kind of cool. Well, but yeah, and yeah, when I finish making the bunker, bunker and arrow, I think what would be awesome some is if I painted the legs and make it for where she can actually sit down and work at the work at the computer chair, monitor the comms and all that's all that is, and things would be nice. Okay, now we're going to be moving on to the latest characters in Arrow. Next up is Rene Ramirez, aka Wild Dog. Uh, so, uh, this design is his outfit back in Season 5, because with the latest suit, it's okay, but at the time I already had, had the decals ready, I was ready of what I was going to do, so I chose to stick with these, these and make things work. So, of course, he has his guns and, and the detailing on his pants. Um, I think the paints that I use for the legs, it can kind of bend, but I can't fully bend it without risking of ruining the paint job. So I think I might have to repaint those legs. There's somewhat of a paint job continuing on of his arms. Uh, his hockey mask, though. Asks, though, I can take it off, you know, if I think. Yes, I can. I can. So the hockey mask, ski mask is kind of unique. So my original idea was that that's... I was gonna take a hairpiece and then put it on there, but of course, of course, with that certain hairpiece, I would have to re-get it again, and it'd be an entire mess. So, of course, here's his face underneath. Neath, this isn't exactly a decal. A decal around Christmas time. My sister got me a whole bunch of minifigures, and so with one of the heads, it was the printout was like this. I was originally gonna use a different head, but I chose to use that for my Quentin Lance minifigure. I. I don't know if I'll do that because it's not really much of a custom. It's some, but yeah, in general, this is like uh, Roy, uh, Roy, Renee's face, and I think this comes close as to what it'd be like. So I can't also put the mask on. However, I need to I need to like put it on and then push it against his face so that way it stays on. Because in the last few tries, I did this. It, this the mask would come off so in order to keep it on i need to put it on I need to put it on the minifigure and then push it back so that way it stays on and it'll have no problems there and of course he has his little uh, little black shoes so maybe i might try to do his latest suit but then again and i'm not too motivated so i think i'll just keep it like this because it actually looks pretty cool all right now we're going to be moving, going to be moving on to our next minifigure next up is curtis holt aka mr terrific Effect. Hey, now this minifigure is kind of interesting as well. This was another decal that I chose to hand draw, and draw and draw cast. So as you can see, he has arms fair play on both sides. That's when this and this printed out. I originally thought the arms were gonna be a bit too big, and I would have to like reprint it. 
but then it, it turns out the arms were small enough uh, to fit just right on, so that's so that was a good thing. So that's kind of another thing with these minifigures is that sometimes the size might not be precisely accurate, but when I printed off I don't know, the Green Arrow decals, decals, I I keep that in my pad as like a base, so that way when when printing off new decals, I can size it down just enough. And of course, there's a little detailing on his legs. Thanks. Uh, these two pads. Now that I think about it, I could have just easily have painted those on. There probably wouldn't have been like not really a need to do decals, but at the time I wasn't fully thinking it through. You know, and of course he's got a face. Uh, his face, his decal. I find it kind of interesting on how his mask is not like your usual mask. Like you kind of expected like an eye mask or a mask that covers everything but the chin, but he chose to go with a T that covers his mouth. Mouth, nose, and eyes. I think that's very, I think that's a very unique way. And of course, he has his hairpiece. He's. I was originally gonna wait to do this figure until like a like a, again like another certain hairpiece, but I chose to ignore it, or it's and just uh, take molding clay and make the hair mm -hmm. there. And I think he turned out pretty good. And of course, he also has his little teeth spears. Here's when making the spears. They're not exactly like spears. What I did was I took some molding clay and I put it on these studs so that way he can hold all the T-spears and even throw them. And I think these are removable. Yes. Yes, so here's one of the spears. And of course, uh, with the new molding clay I work with, occasion occasionally they fall off. Uh, the clay pattern actually falls off and I need to put it back on. So what I like to use is crazy glue to repair it. There it's, and occasionally I even have to crazy glue clay with clay. Hey, with clay. That happened, that has happened to me a few times. Um, so especially when I made a few other mini figures. Figures. Like with one of the hood pieces that I made that I will show eventually, I had to do that. So that way it would maintain in its form and not get ruined. Okay, now we're gonna move, uh, we're gonna move on to our next mini figure. Next up is our latest Black Canary, or Black Canary 3, Dinah Drake. Hey, right, so she currently is the latest one, one like, carrying on the mantle of the Canary. Canary, and this minifigure is actually, actually, one of the two minifigures in this whole, in this whole showcase that is completely hand-painted. And painted, as you can see. I originally was gonna, like, wait till we got a clearer view of the costume, of Dinah's costume. Costume later on in season six, but uh, after looking at like an animated version of like how it would look like if she appeared in the seeds animation style, I decided you know what, let's just hand paint this. So looking at this figure a little bit further, further this is actually pretty interesting. So uh, I'm gonna take it off the head. Oh, okay, it looks like another one. Looks like another head stuck on the hair. The hair. Uh, the head actually though. Actually, though, I was originally gonna, like, do a face to cal and, and like I did with Laurel, draw the mask on, but I decided, let's just do it simpler. Let's already take a, take a female head that I like, and let's paint the mask on. So that's what I did. I took a, a, a Mary head, head from Indiana Jones. I took the head, I painted the eyes, and the eyes, and put, put on the mask. Uh, looking at the rest of the figure, figure, though... This is actually like a dark gray. I did that as like two separate grays. So over here she has her jet black gray, and over here, well, jet black gray, well, jet black, and over here has the light gray, and of course the yellow pattern here. I think this was supposed to be like gold kind of pattern, and I actually don't know if this pattern is what's on the suit. This is what I just assumed is on, so I went ahead with that, and with that, and and like with. Like with a few other minifigures I have, her legs can actually bend. I can kind of imagine that if Laurel was still alive in the series, like our loyal, like our loyal Laurel, if she, if Earth One Laurel was alive and not as as Earth X, Earth X. I am sorry, I cannot speak today. Earth Two Laurel, there we go. I think this could have been like her suit. Like this could have been that if Cisco, Cisco had permission to, what it'd be like. You know, like there we go. If she wore the suit. Right, so I think this is actually pretty good. And of course her staff. F. 
what I like to do is with some of my minifigures, I kind of want to give them each unique bow staffs. Like, I kind of don't want to give them the same design on them. No, so for this one, I chose to do, chose to do just that. And just that. And I took, took one of these handles that I like to use as sword, as sword handles for when I make, when I make like my keyblades, keyblades, and put those on. And then I super, then I super glued these, uh, uh, rocket, uh, rocket pieces. I can imagine these. And this was originally like an idea I had for. Or I think back when I made the Sarah Lance Canary. It's Canary. Either white or black. That sounds kind of racial when you say it out loud. It out loud. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> but anyways, with the staff, staff, though, I wanted to make it very unique. Unique, sort of like as her own weapon. Yeah. And yeah, that's yeah, that's China Drake. Now we'll move on to the last minifigure of the showcase. So last up in the showcase is Rory Regan, aka Ragman. And now this minifigure... Gear, I know Rory is no longer in Arrow anymore. He he left the show after losing his powers back in season five. But I, but when this first, well, when the character was first revealed, I automatically went like, I'm making this figure. I want to make this figure. He is so cool. Well, it's the same reasons why I made one of my Flash minifigures. I'll do a show, I'll do a showcase video, video of that in the future. But this was another hand painted minifigure that I originally was going to do decals for it. However, when I saw all like the costume concept of how how it turned out. I thought like you know what, let's just let's just hand paint this. This should be gonna be that hard. And it actually wasn't. This was actually pretty cool, pretty cool. So as you can see, the pattern continues to go onto the back. And this is with molding clay. This is actually a different kind of clay, kind of clay. As you can see, he also has like his rags that go on his arms. If I can move them, let's hope he. There we go. Is about to go. Now, hopefully, we can move this without causing too much damage to this decals. Because I think this is like the clay that I used that I used used a while back was like child's clay, and it can't dry. Like this thing cannot dry. Not dry. And had I known at the time, I wouldn't have gotten the clay. In the clay. But on the plus side is that his legs can actually move, which is kind of a cool thing. Well, thing so his legs can move move and move and of course i do know that on his rags there are some belt loops however at the time i didn't really thought it through to go like ah oh, let's do the belt loops so i didn't really think that through through and i originally thought his hood was like completely brown however i did notice that there was actually also some green to it do it so i made like a certain color green to put on his rags and and do it a color for the hood. And of course, this black, if you're wondering, what is that? It's supposed to be his mouth. Mouth. I actually just painted that on this specific hood piece. So anyways, with this hood piece, piece oh, and underneath, there's nothing really, really on here. I had no intentions of putting a face underneath, so I just painted everything except the eyes. Believe it or not, this was actually the easiest one of the face, because I didn't really need the rest of the face. But anyways, with this hood... I got this of like an archer minifigure, a figure that's, it was either when I was uh, the same place where I got the hood piece for Thea and the batons for Canary, or when I was in Denver, I was at the Lego, at a Lego convention. Again, I don't fully remember, I remember, that's a problem I have sometimes. But anyways, so you could see some patches on the hood. And so yeah, I find this very unique. This is a very unique character in general. In general, and I was sad that that's when he had to leave, and because I was like, "No, you were always my favorite, favorite." Because yeah, this one, this one. Oh, okay. Either that was like that before, or that just happened. But anyways, it was always like that before, and I thought like, "Aw." So I do hope that that uh, this is probably least likely to happen. But I'm hoping that Ragman does come back, I'm back like he's got his powers and everything. Think so. Yeah, I hope that he does return though. I don't know. Okay, now. And now that that's out of the way, let's begin to wrap this wrap this video up. And that does it for this episode of LEGO Arts. No Arts, again, these minifigure, uh, these minifigure showcases is one of my favorites of all time. All time. Like, I was super excited to make this, make this, and, and I'm very satisfied with these. Alright, so I'm planning on doing some more Arrow minifigures in the future. Future, like, I might add, I'd add 
and a few other characters, which is like important ones to the showcase. At the show, like, yes, like if I were to do some more heroes, I would do like Lila, Lila Dig's wife, wife, and I might do a Huntress minifigure. I haven't fully decided. Uh, if I did an Artemis minifigure, I decided that if I do that, I'll do it in the style of Young Justice, not in the style of Arrow, because in Young Justice we actually like that. I like that. I like that design. But anyways, with the rest of these minifigures, minifigures, I'm very satisfied with them. At them, and I'm planning on, hang on, that I might, that I'll do a CW villain showcase, showcase like some Arrow villains. I have already made Deathstroke and Prometheus. Uh, I might do a few other figures, like I might do a Rachel Ghoul, uh, a Malcolm Merlin, and a Black Siren. Iron. I am not doing Damian Dark. I'm saying that right now. I'm not doing Damian Dark. I don't care if, I don't care if people want me to make him. I don't care if he's gonna be continue on being a super big bad. I don't care at all. I hate that guy. That guy, and I hate, and I especially hate him more that he killed off Laurel. I love Laurel, so damn him. Damn him. Damn him. So I am not going to make that figure. Figure. Um, since this thought actually occurred to me, I'm actually gonna sh gonna clue you in on another showcase. This isn't gonna be in, like, the next video. And, you know, this might not be in a showcase for a while, at least. It is gonna be in one, but not for a while, because, uh, I'm already, I've just started on it, so... Oh, it's not entirely finished. But anyways, I'll give you guys a little, like, sneak peek of what he is. So this is going to be the base design of him. Let me give you a closer look. You a closer look at him. So if you guys can guess of exactly what this minifigure is, figure is, I'll leave it up to you guys. You guys. So you can comment below of, like, who is this mysterious character? Who is this mysterious character? Uh, for my next showcase video, I'm... I might do another CW showcase, but I might do of my Flash minifigures, actually. I think I'll actually show you guys of what I've done with those. With those. But uh, some other showcases that I'm working on. Working on. I'm currently also working on a Crisis on Earth X minifigure, minifigure showcase. I finished two of those. Well, I technically finished three, but one of those figures I'm actually saving, saving for a different showcase. So, oh... The Crisis on Earth X, it's almost done, but I need a specific piece so I can begin on one of the minifigures. I guess. I won't spoil of what it is, so I'll leave it to your imagination of, like, who it will be. So, for the next Arrow Showcase okay, video, it might either be villains, or it might actually be the bunker when I'm finished. Finished, because I'm really excited of how that'll go. I'll go. So, anyways... Anyways, to wrap this video up, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button, comment below what you think, and share this to your friends. And here's a howl for the road. Ow! And thank you guys, and I'll see you next time when the ice moon rises!